hello everyone so I just released this new theme for Firefox and this one's called dark matter now of course what happened is that you probably know that Mozilla released a new update a while ago and uh, they moved to their new interface which is called proton and they kinda totally wrecked my previous theme and at first I thought it wasn't worth fixing uh, but then I thought I'd give it a shot and so what happened was that I found myself spending almost over a month uh, day and night working on this theme trying to sniff out any interesting code that I could find and just adding tons and tons of new features and uh, fixes to the point uh, where I actually decided to give the theme a completely new name okay and uh, not just that but I actually managed to fix one of the biggest issues that uh, everyone was having with my first theme which was that uh, you had to use this plugin called Fem Creator to apply uh, colors to some of the elements and that plugin had no export option and not even any option to uh, put in uh, custom uh, to put in color codes and so you just had to kind of guess the colors uh, and but with this theme all the colors have been implemented into the CSS file so uh, no need to use the theme creator plugin uh, as far as I know as far as I know it's actually been removed from the Firefox store and uh, the installation process is just a simple copy paste and just enabling two options so okay uh, so with that being said we can get into the installation process uh, of course one last thing before we do that is that uh, I'd really appreciate if you would uh, support me by donating me some stable coins or some crypto uh, to the addresses that I have left down in the description and if you can't do that at least I would appreciate if you like the video and if you subscribe to my channel I'm actually I've been planning on making this massive customization tutorial for Windows and, and I've kind of been holding it back because I wanted to see what Microsoft was going to do with Windows 11 and now that Windows 11 is in pre-release state I think it's a great time for me to release this uh, tutorial uh, as as I kind of want to show uh, how s some of the things that some of the things in Windows 10 that Microsoft gave up in Windows 11 uh, were, were pretty useful like for example the start screen and, and I, I, I don't blame Microsoft fully on removing this of course people weren't uh, willing to spend some time to make this uh, look pretty nice but of course Microsoft could have made this uh, you know creating something like this uh, more practical so you didn't have to use you know third-party apps but but as you can see you know you can turn this into a, a pretty decent looking and useful uh, place actually but anyway so if you wanna be notified when that comes out uh, you can hit the bell icon and yeah so with that being said let's get into the process of installing the theme okay it's very easy first thing you want to do is you want to open up Firefox's advanced preferences okay you head over to this address about column config and here what you want to do is you want to search for style sheet and you are going to find this line and you're gonna double click here and set it to true what this does is that it gives Firefox the permission to take command from your custom style sheets okay another optional thing that you might want to do here is if you search for Proton there is one option that might still be disabled by default and that is the tooltips so if you want your tooltips to be skinned uh, you can set this option to true too if it's disabled okay so once you do that next thing we want to do is of course we want to download the theme so you head over to the address that I left 
uh, to the first link in the description it's gonna open up this page and then you're gonna head over to releases and you're gonna download this zip file okay once you do that next thing you want to do is you want to find the uh, your user profile okay you head over you open up your menu you go over to help more troubleshooting information and once this tab opens up you're gonna find this profile folder and click on open folder okay this is gonna open up your user profile then you're gonna open up the zip file of the theme and you're gonna wanna copy this Chrome folder straight into your user profile okay and once you do that the next thing you want to do is uh, you want to open up the second link that I left in the description and it's gonna bring you over to this site here you're gonna click on code and download zip okay once you download that you wanna go you wanna head over to your Firefox's default installation folder which should be here located here if you didn't change it during the installation once you uh, find this folder you're gonna open the second archive you're gonna go into the program folder and copy and replace everything that is located here into uh, your Mozilla your Firefox's installation folder okay and once you do that there's only one last thing that you'd want to do and that is head over to your menu again go over to more tools uh, find customized toolbar and here you want to make sure that your density is set to normal and that your theme is set to dark now if you see any visual issues which I doubt you could try switching over to the light theme or to the system theme but the theme that worked pretty flawlessly uh, with a few with quite a few uh, windows themes that I tried both dark and light was the dark theme so make sure your theme is set to the dark theme okay and that is it that is pretty much everything you need to do to apply the theme once you do that just close your Firefox and open it up again and you should have the theme as it is here okay if if you see any issues just restart your system once and and you should pretty much get everything straight and your theme should look like this okay just two more things that you might want to do by yourself is first of course setting these top sites now of course I can't share the ones I'm using because that would be stealing and I doubt you'd be wanting to use the exact same sites that I am but making these is super easy okay all you need to do is head over to icons8.com search for the icon you want set the style to Windows 10 download the image and once you download the image open up open it up in any uh, drawing app paint would do and just drop a background behind it with a color code of 222 the HTML color code for the background of the top side tiles is 222 drop a background with that color behind the image save it and then just upload it to any free image hosting site I'm using uh, imagebb.com uh, upload it there and then uh, here on your top sides you add it at the site here click on this three dot edit and you just paste in the uh, URL of you just paste in the link of that image here in the custom image URL okay and that is it you save it and you will have some nice fancy top sites here okay the other thing that you might want to do is uh, if you want to set uh, custom favicons for your sites okay for certain sites you need to download this plugin called favicon switcher okay and working with it is super easy you just type in the name of the site you want to change the favicon click upload image another uh, 
website is going to pop up and you select the image that you want to set and uh, close that page and and you uh, and it's going to change the favicon uh, of that website okay and so yeah that is pretty much it uh, and of course uh, you can actually change the accent color of this theme to any color you personally want uh, it, it is super easy if you want to have this theme if you want to have the accent color of this theme uh, in a different color all you need to do is just uh, open up this two CSS files in the in your Chrome folder the user Chrome and the user content open them up in any text editor even notepad would do okay and uh, you want to replace to to replace quick control H it's gonna bring up this windows you want to replace all the two color codes that I have left down in the description with two color codes of your choice now the first color is of course uh, the main accent color is this blue and the second code is a lighter version of this blue uh, which is the color you get when you hover onto uh, some of these blue elements okay so you want to change the first color to the color you desire and the second color to a lighter version of that color okay and uh, and also you want to search uh, and you want to replace fox2.png uh, with fox.png in in both the files and what it, this is going to do is going to replace the blue fox uh, with a white fox okay and yeah that's pretty much all you need to do to have this uh, uh, this uh, theme in whatever accent color that you desire and finally the add-on that I'm currently using uh, to have my websites in dark is an add-on called Night Eye. So if you want your websites in dark, you can use this add-on. So yeah, that is it. Uh, I hope you like and enjoy this theme, and I hope it was worth all the effort that I put into it. And please do let me know if you find any issues or any bugs with this theme. Uh, I'm I'm gonna try my best to uh, fix them. And yeah, so I hope you enjoy the theme and I hope you have a nice day.